Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create adjustable wall mounted CCTV camera Revit family. In this video, I will create three part of family, camera body, vertical adjustment camera body and main family, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create camera body family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 82 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 141 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 35 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 35 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 18 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw partial ellipse and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw another partial ellipse and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 215 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 72 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw an ellipse. 
align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw another ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Go to right view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Back to front view. Select the void extrusion and go to edit. Edit the line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the editing. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw a circle. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Back to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metallic paint. Replace glossy black color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. 
select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metallic paint. Replace glazed black color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 35 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 10 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Offset 4 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Offset 4 mm and create similar. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 17 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 9 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw partial ellipse and lock to reference plane. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the void extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. 
Go to Create. Select the Revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the metallic paint. Replace white color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Save the family. To create vertical adjustable camera body family, open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Go to Create and select the reference line. Create a reference line from intersection point down to 15 degrees. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for vertical adjustment. Select Instance and click OK. Go to Family Type. Check and play the vertical adjustment parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to body material. Select instance and click OK. Check in 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Go to front view. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Select the family and move to intersection point. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Check and play the vertical adjustment parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Click apply and OK. Save the family. To create main family, open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Go to front view. Go to family category and parameter. 
select security devices for family category and select normal for part type. Set and select the class number and title. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 300 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select dimension and add parameter for bracket pole length. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 32 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the sweep. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Go to create. Set work plane. Pick up a new work plane and open left view. Create a reference line and lock to reference plane. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for horizontal adjustment. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Check and play the horizontal adjustment angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the reference line and mirror to opposite side. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to left view. Find the loaded family in project browser. Place the family to the reference line. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. 
assign vertical adjustment parameter to vertical adjustment. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Check and play the adjustment angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Click apply and OK. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Go to create. Select the conduit connector and place to cable gland. Select connector and set 20 mm diameter. And click apply. Save the family. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Select the family. Check and play the parameter. Select the family and create similar. OK, adjustable CCTV camera family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.